Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Take On Tottenham. My name is Ben and this is my Take On Tottenham and uh, full-time result, West Ham 1, Tottenham 1. Um, I say this every time, but it's just a very weird game. It wasn't, um, I'd say on the whole, it's probably more frustrating uh, from Tottenham's uh, perspective. Um, yeah, look, it, it's, it is always, always difficult uh, playing against West Ham because even when they're playing crap, uh, they still always pull it out the bag for 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 when whenever they play us, be it at home or away, they'll always put up a you know a decent match. Um, they are a good a good side, um, and yeah, it's it's always one of those. It's it's like the North London derby form. Um, you know, form goes out the window every time with these games. So. Um, yeah, I expected a, a difficult match and, and it was, um, I think, probably on the whole, West Ham were the better team. Um, but if Spurs had their chances as well, um, not to do them a discredit, but yeah, West Ham were the better team on the whole. Um, starting lineup, um, a few changes. We actually have some changes. Um, Bissouma. Um, started, uh, he's in for uh, Benton Kerr, who I think sustained an injury um, against Forest. I didn't realise he was going to be out injured. I thought he just kind of went off the for the rest of that match, but um, I don't know if it's the same injury or not, but he wasn't on the bench. Um, Oliver Skip was on uh, on the bench as well, which is really good to see. Um, love, love Oliver Skip. I think he's going to be something special um, and hopefully, you know, have a be able to put his um, stamp of stamp of authority on um, on on his on you know on his starting place in, in midfield. He had a really good um, stint at the start of last season, and then unfortunately got his injury. So um, yeah, it'd be good to see him hopefully back in the squad. Maybe you know, um, Richarlison on the bench again. I really want him to start. I really thought he'd done enough to start. Um, Warrington, you know. Um, with with Sonny's form, um, yeah, but quite frustra uh, frustrating. Um, Spurs made a positive start um, for a change. They they uh, this season when playing away have kind of sat off in the early stages, allowing the other team to have possession and trying to hit them on the break. Uh, it wasn't like that as much this one. Um, you know, they had a lot of possession. Um, you know, keeping the ball really well going forwards. Um, West Ham were struggling in the, that opening stage. Um, and then we'll get to, right, the penalty. The penalty, or the lack thereof. Um, the penalty decision. So, um, I personally think it was a penalty. And I know that's going to sound biased, but trust me, if you're an opposition fan or whatever, um, if you don't watch the channel, you will know that I I put bias aside for decisions. I don't try and look at decisions because it will benefit my team. I look at it as a fact. Um, and I try to look at it, you know, um, subjectively, like, like you know, not completely non-bias. And, you know, if I think uh, one of our players has dived for a penalty, um, I will say that he's dived. If I think it, uh, if I think it wasn't a penalty, even if it's resulted in a penalty from my team, I will say it's not. I didn't think it was a penalty. Anyone who no knows me, watches this channel, will know that that's what I've done for the last few years um, or since doing these videos. So I have no reason to break that trend today. But I did think it was a penalty. I think... Um, I know it hit his... It looked like it hit his head, Aaron Crosswell's head, and then it hit his hand. But why is his hand up here? I know he was jumping, but to me, it seemed like that's an unnatural position. I've seen penalties get given for less, um, and I don't. I just don't understand why it wasn't given. I really don't. The the only thing I can think of is that he, you know, is because they kept saying in commentary that because it hits his head and then his hand. But I don't really understand how how that stopped it from being a penalty. His arm was still up in a, a natural position. That's my opinion. I'm sure there's going to be people that disagree. But um, I thought it was a, a, a stonewall penalty. And, and and let's just also have a knock at um, VAR for how long that took. Four and a half minutes it took for that decision. Four and a half minutes. That is terrible. It's really bad. Like, I don't know. I, I, I thought it was a stonewall penalty. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, Rice uh, had, a, had a volley. 
Um, obviously, I'm annoyed at the referee already, who I thought had a bad game, but we'll get into that towards the end. Um, Rice had a great volley. Um, at Lloris pulled out a very good save to stop it. Um, but again, in the build-up of that, Basuma went up to header it and was absolutely pulled down. I can't remember who by. Ref didn't see it. Okay, whatever. Um, Basuma then... Uh, again, it was a bit of a weird one. Basuma got... He, he, he had a foul. Uh, I think it was on Bowen. Uh, but it was he literally was running behind him and acts... It, you could see it on the replay. It was no intent. There was nothing there. He had... He just slightly clipped the back of his leg and Bowen went down. Basuma got annoyed and then obviously then got booked for descent. But I can understand why he was annoyed. He shouldn't have reacted the way he did, which was stupid to get the yellow for that. But um, yeah, I thought that was a bit weird as well. Um, and then we got the goal. Um, yeah, great counter-attack really. Um, I think it was Royce who gave it away. Um, great counter-attack. Uh, Kane started the move. Um, threaded it through to uh, Kuluzewski. Kuluzewski then uh, threaded it through to Kane, who did a nice overlap and run. Um, and Kane did a lovely ball in, into the box. And it, and you know it, I can't remember who scored the own goal, but um, if it if it wasn't going to be him, it Sonny was there for the tap in. I'm, it's a shame Sonny didn't get it because he needs a goal. Um, but yeah, really good move from Spurs. Really good counter attack and a good goal. Really good play from from Kane and, and Kuluzewski. Um. Uh. Yeah. Some a summary of Sonny's form at the minute. Kane did an amazing through ball for Sonny. Really like massive hoof up. Sonny was running onto it, and then headed it down. Tried to header it down, and just absolutely just hit it too heavy. Went straight into Fabianski's hands. Um. And Hoybier took a knock. Um. Late in the in the first half. Um. Look a bit injured. Thought Pesuma was very poor in that first half. I don't think the card helped. Um, which obviously, like I said earlier, is his own fault. But I felt like he was he was just poor, he was giving passes away, not really finding anyone with his uh, you know, in from midfield and, and yeah, it was just really poor. Um second half, about ten minutes in, conceded the goal. It was a good goal from West Ham's perspective. I think it's poor from Spurs. Um, I'm looking at Perisic, I'm looking at Davies, weren't aware of the quick throw and just everyone kind of switched off. Um, I think it was Suchek who got the goal in the end, but it was a poor goal from Spurs' perspective to, to concede. Um, just switching off, just absolutely switching off, just basics and Conte will be furious at that. Um, then they started doing it. They haven't done this for a while. They used to do it under Poch quite a bit where they Bleed messed around at the back with it and Lloris, Sanchez, Royale, you know, all messing about with it. The Dyer, um, passing it and letting West Ham pressure, 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 and then struggling to deal with it and then nearly conceding from it. It was really frustrating. They used to do it all the time in departure. It, was, it annoyed me back then and it still annoys me. Um, Sanchez then went close for the bicycle kick, a bit of a collector's item there. Um, Perisic had a, a ball that he stuck across the goal and there's no one there. It was a lovely ball from Perisic and no one was there. Um, then Kane had a, a volley that was that was saved subsequently. They kept the chance in. I think it found its way to Kane and, and he had a volley that was saved quite easily. Um, Richarlison got a yellow card. I, I, I didn't see it fully, but from what it looked like, it looked like um, he tried to carry on play after Emerson Royale got fouled. And then Emerson on West Ham's team, it looked like he was trying to kick or tackle him, Richarlison. I don't know what happened after that. I didn't show any replays, but Richarlison got a yellow from that somehow. I didn't see him react personally, so I can't comment on anything that I didn't see. Um, but yeah, yellow card for Richarlison as well. Um, Basuma then won a ball um, in, a, in a tackle. It's 50-50 tackle, completely won the ball. Foul. And then Perisic got booked for descent as well. Um, again, I can understand his frustrations. And then West Ham went really close right at the end. Heart in mouth situation. Um, yeah, the ball flashed across the goal line, essentially. Bowen couldn't get his foot on it and Spurs survived. And like I said, on the whole, at the start of the video, on the whole, I think Spurs would be happy with the point. Um, I think based on form, they'd be disappointed. Because I think going in form-wise, that's one Spurs would have been looking to win. Um, but Having seen the match now in hindsight, I think a point's a it's a good point. Um, West Ham were like I said up for it again. Um, 
you know the 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 crowd you know get you know get up for it as well you know it's a london derby um i thought sunny had a poor game again better but poor um just poor like he's just not looking himself it's very odd and again i have to say i really thought richardson did enough to start this game today i really thought he did um, of course, he's a great player to bring on, and uh, you know, to, to impact the game, to change the game. And he did that literally as Richard's first move is he let the ball go under him and then started to run, thread, threaded Kane through and then win a corner, you know, instant impact. So that's good for Richarlison in that aspect. But I think he's done enough to start. I really do. Um, I thought the ref had a poor game. I'm just going to say it. I thought he had a poor game. I don't usually comment about the refs in these videos. I don't really, you know... I know it's a cliche sort of thing to do, but I don't really do it. But I, I did think the rough had a poor game. And for West Ham's perspective as well, I thought there was a couple of fouls that I thought West Ham should have had uh, that the ref didn't blow up for. Um, I thought he had a poor handling on the game. I thought those cards getting dished out just unnecessarily. Um, yeah, pretty weird, really. Uh, my man of the match, I don't say this much, but I thought Emerson Royale was really good today. Um, I would have gone Ivan Perisic, who also was... was Actually, didn't look like he was playing in the left wing back role. I think Spurs actually what they looked like was a was a back four, um, but yeah, I think um, Ivan Perisic was going. He, he was playing more sort of left wing, which is probably why we didn't see Sessignon come on, um, really. Um, and I, I think that kind of switch when Richarlison came on. I think it was him and Kane up front. I don't know. I don't know where Sonny went. No, no, Perisic wasn't playing the left wing back role. That's for sure. Um, he was getting back, but Spurs' shape most of the time was in the back four, so I don't know. Might be an interesting one to look into. Uh, but yeah, I thought Emerson Royale was was really good today. He just didn't stop. Uh, he was getting full quite a lot, uh, making some good tackles, and yeah, I thought he deserved the man of the match. I don't think anyone particularly stood out, but I felt like Emerson Royale um, had a quite a good solid game um, defensively and offensively. I thought he did did really well today. Um, and he just didn't stop. He didn't stop till to the last minute. So that was really good to see. Um, but yeah, Spurs, I think on the whole, uh, were poor. And I think Harry Kane alluded to it the other day that you've not seen the best of them yet. Um, you know, they, like I said, they started off quite bright today, faded, faded. And then second half, I, like I said, looking to get out of it with a point, really. Um, next game, Saturday afternoon, three o'clock kickoff. Um, Fulham at home. Um it's gonna be a weird one because Fulham are looking a lot better um, this season than than they did that last well the season previous um, to last uh, when they came up. Um, yeah, Fulham are looking really good. You know they gave Arsenal a bit of a scare the other day um, as well, um, so it won't be an easy game. Um, but yeah, um, need a response. Obviously need need to get three points. Um, yeah, that's it really. Um, I don't really know what else to talk about. Um, I think I've covered everything. Sonny, that's one more thing. Sonny on corners. This needs to stop. This needs to stop. Sonny on corners cannot happen. It's the same as Harry Kane taking free kicks. It doesn't work. I don't know why it happens. And we've had more success with uh, Perisic on corners. He's been actually getting the ball into the box. Sonny's corners remind me of Ericsson's corners the last season he was with us. They don't beat the first man. And it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. Like... Your corners need to get in the box. I hate seeing a corner get cleared by the first man. It, it, it is infuriating. Um, and Sonny's just, like I said, it continues the, the poor run of form. I love Sonny, I really do. But something's not right this season. I don't know why. But um, but yeah, he's just struggling. And but like I said, his corners are set pieces. It was weird because he's scoring free kicks for South Korea. And scored, I think he scored a free kick in, in, in pre-season as well. Uh, but yeah, a lot of work to do. That it wasn't an amazing performance at all. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a weird one. Um, so yeah, need to bounce back for Saturday. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully, we'll get three points. Um, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, like button, notification bell, all that stuff. Um, and let me know what you thought about the uh, the match down below. What did you think about the penalty? So I'm interested to see what you thought about that. Um, yeah, a bit of a controversial one, I think. Uh, but yeah, let me know down below. I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, come in your spurs.